Next week brings a special opportunity for stargazers. Our Lindsay Amundsen has more tonight on the great conjunction of 2020. Jupiter and Saturn are both orbiting the sun, right? Uh, and Jupiter is closer in than Saturn and moving faster. So once every 20 years, Jupiter sort of catches up to Saturn and laps it going around. And when that happens, uh, when we view it from the Earth, we can look out and Jupiter and Saturn will get much closer together than they are at other times. When planets are this close together, it's known as a conjunction. For Jupiter and Saturn, this happens every 20 years. This particular event um, on the 21st, uh, they'll be getting closer together than they usually do. A sight you don't want to miss. If you go out on the 21st, uh, you look on the southwest horizon um, right after sunset, maybe half an hour to an hour after sunset. Um, you should be able to see Jupiter and Saturn together there in the sky. They'll be so close together, uh, it'll be a tenth of a degree apart. So basically uh, a fifth of the diameter of the full moon. A once in a lifetime view. The last time the the Jupiter and Saturn were this close together was, you know, back when Galileo first used his telescope to look at the sky. I mean, so 400 years ago. So it's kind of a pretty cool event. Um, I've never seen this close together. The planets will be lit up and visible from Earth with your naked eye, but... If you do have a telescope and look at them through, through the telescope, you'll be able to see them both, you know, Jupiter and its moons and Saturn and its rings and its moons, all in the same view in the telescope, which is kind of cool. Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6. I get my telescope out. The best time to view the Great Conjunction is when the planets will be closest together, and that is Monday, December 21st after sunset. But you can still catch it a couple of days before and after as the planets slowly start to pass each other.